What's going on everyone? It's me BJ Kulit and you are watching 1 million views and today's episode we are going to react on a uh, one video and this video is from Malaysia actually and uh, we will give a reaction about how Indonesia responds to a COVID-19 and you know there's still a lot of cases in every country so today we are going to react on this video i didn't yet watch this video guys this is my very first time to watch the video that's why it is better to react uh, to a video that you didn't yet watch it so before anything else let's have our intro first So anyway, just like what I said, we're going to react to a video from Indonesia, how do they respond to this pandemic. So let's have to watch this video. It has the highest COVID-19 mortality rate in Asia, wow. hovering at around 8 highest. percent Indonesia also has Whoa. the most number of coronavirus deaths in the region, second only oh to my China. God. To be honest, the government's early response of their tackling of oh. the COVID-19 pandemic has been substandard from the very beginning. If you recall earlier in the year when China, when South Korea, Singapore, um, countries around the region started declaring their coronavirus uh, counts, Indonesia was still very much in denial about how many cases Whoa. they had. They even declared that they didn't have any uh, COVID-19 cases well until early March. They have a lot of cases. Indonesia has been ramping up its fight against COVID-19. But there's concern that the move may have come too little, Whoa, too late. Oh my god. The phone is ringing and tells our mother pass away. It's, it's completely um, blown my mind, uh, drowning in the sadness. Yeah. They were only given four to five hours to prepare all the funeral arrangements oh. and only his wife and a priest from the church were allowed to be at the oh funeral. My God. Can you imagine the one you love? No one can come, only my wife and one priest from our church. Oh. Indonesia's health ministry has admitted that the mortality rate of 9% is much higher than the global average. Oh but the true number of COVID-19 related deaths may never be known. The majority of observers know that this, um, the figures that are being released by the government is perhaps far from accurate. If we look at uh, the numbers of admissions to hospitals alone, if we look at the numbers, the higher levels of mortality rates across cities, across Indonesia alone, we know that um, this number is not correct. So the danger of using this kind of figures as a measure to how well Indonesia doing is dangerous because it's just simply oh, misleading. It's not right. Does Indonesia, a country known for its inadequate medical infrastructure, have the resources to handle the rising number That's of patients? The problem. Indonesia has one of the lowest testing rates in the world. So far, the country has only tested around 108,000 people, which means it has tested uh, only around 319 people per 1 oh. million population, which is much lower than Vietnam, for example, who has tested more than uh, 2,600 people per 1 million population. What happened? Indonesia faces a severe shortage of vital breathing oh. devices to treat people with the disease. What happened? Oh my goodness. According to the health ministry, Indonesia has just over 8,000 ventilators nationwide for a population of 270 million oh people. Oh my god. It also has 2.7 critical care beds for every 100,000 patients. Oh ho. And then uh, we look at the number of hospi hospital and what uh, happened? Why like this? Physician or doctors, they all. Uh, 
far below the demand. According to a 2017 WHO survey, the country only has four doctors for every 10,000 people, oh. well behind Malaysia, which has 15 in terms of doctor to patient ratio. What happened? There's been an extremely high mortality rate among healthcare workers. As of early May, the pandemic has killed 38 doctors and 17 nurses. This is due to lack of facility, yeah. lack of PPE, for example. Indonesia's healthcare at the moment is on the brink of breaking down because there's just uh, so many patients. Pernah disampaikan bahwa ini kita masih di fase awal itu. Yang mana begitu nanti pertumbuhan tinggi tenaga medis sudah nggak mencukupi lagi. Baik dari sisi fasilitas rumah sakit, kamar, maupun tenaga medis sendiri, karena tenaga medis terbatas. President Jokowi has reallocated some 26 billion US dollars from the 2020 budget to fund the fight against COVID-19. The government has also this is not recently a joke. built a specialist hospital on Galang Island in Riau to treat COVID-19 patients from across the nation. A team of Indonesian engineers are also working around the clock to produce compact ventilators. Of course, these have to be supported by follow-up uh, well, follow policies so that these steps could be effective. But in a dramatic turn of events, the government has signaled that it will ease some of the social restrictions oh. to curb the spread of the virus. This is despite criticisms from epidemiologists who warned against easing such restrictions too early unless it has strong evidence to show that the coronavirus curve has been flattened. Amid the economic downturn caused by the COVID-19 outbreak, according to government estimates, some 5.2 million people will lose their jobs yeah. and almost 4 million Indonesians will fall into poverty. It's a problem. Indonesia is facing a tough choice at the moment, right? Whether to safeguard its economy or save the lives of its citizens. And a lot of governments around the world are facing the very same choice right now. When to open up restrictions, uh, what to do next, etc. Oh, um, actually, I don't know how to react with this video because I was shocked what the videos tell because as far as I know Indonesia also is one of good country and also I don't know what happened why I think they're already late on doing some remedy on this kind of pandemic actually i have a lot of friends here in hong kong indonesian people telling me that they have a lot of cases in their country but the problem is the technology and also the one they are using for the victims is not enough for these uh, people so for me there are some things that indonesia needs to make and decrease the uh, the cases of this pandemic first is they need to follow the rules of the government second is they need to help its other like what is happening in malaysia we are participating on what is government is telling and the best thing is most people is voluntary to give some PPEs uh, they are voluntary of uh, making um, suits for the frontliners because you know as the video show us that there's a lot of nurses and doctors died because of this pandemic so what happened is they need a supplies of uh, protective uniform protective gear that they can use to help the victims of this pandemic they need to help the government also so that these cases will be reduced we must have to stay at home i hope that we need to help ourselves also we need to help each other we need to think of the best way how to manage this kind of situation actually I was so shocked with this um, video because the number that are indicated in that video 
about the cases of, of COVID-19 is really, really increasing. So we must have to help the government and we must have to help ourselves just to reduce the number of these cases. So thank you for watching and good day everyone.